But let me turn to Dr. Mehul Shah here, because you're the one that is dealing with a very specific subset of people, children. Children may sometimes uh, present very, very differently. They may have uh, a urinary, uh, they may say that, I don't want to go to the toilet. Or even if they do, we may not understand it. Our mothers may not be able to pick it up. How do you identify that a child is actually getting into kidney uh, problems? That's a very special subset. And then, then I'll kind of turn back to the others. I can divide this uh, answer into two parts. Uh, uh, one part is the younger children who are less than four to five years of age. And second group is the older children. So let me come to the older children first because the symptoms uh, as described by Dr. Balla uh, and, and the rest of our members, uh, they may present with body swelling, they may present with blood in the urine, decreased urination, headaches, recurrent vomiting. So these are the symptoms which would make us think about a kidney problem in an older child. Now 30 to 40 percent of children will have kidney problems because of uh, developmental problems or because of genetic problems. And they would present a little early. In these children, it is a challenge to pick up the kidney disease because the symptoms are going to be non-specific, not related to the kidney. And I think if I would like to emphasize in a young child who is not growing well, the height and the weight as per the growth percentiles, which as pediatricians, we always plot them. If we feel that the growth of the child is altering, that's one important clue for kidney disease in a young, small child. In contrast to older children who would be passing less urine, some of the younger children with developmental problems in the kidney will actually pass more urine. Their frequency of urination is going to be more than the siblings. And that's a very easy comparison, whether the child is passing more number of uh, uh, times the urine and the more volume as compared to the sibling. Because of that, these children are thirsty and they end up drinking a lot of water. And even in the middle of the night, they get up to drink water, which is little unusual after one year of age. Third thing could be they may be having repeated unexplained high fevers. As we know, most of the fevers are because of viral infections, but a small percentage could be because of urine infections. And the only symptom could be unexplained fever. We look at the urine examination and then confirm it's a urine inf infection and then take it further. And lastly, I would mention that young children may present with... Uh, delay in their physical milestones. What they are supposed to do at one year of age, they are not able to do. They may start walking at two years of age, start talking at three to four years of age. They may have some leg deformities. So these are some of the other features with which the, present, uh, the parents will come and we need to think about a kidney problem.